Hello everybody, this is Dr. Beltran and thank you for joining in one more time. Today we will be talking about a very interesting subject which is the benefits of vitamin D in regards to cancer. So as you all know, I am a vitamin D expert and I have been treating many different types of patients who do have autoimmune diseases, but I also have been treating a lot of individuals who do um, have metabolic disease and also cancer. So let us go ahead and talk a little bit about today is the benefits that vitamin D has in regards to be able to combat cancer, not only just for prevention, but also when you use it to be able to help modulate and regulate your immune system to be able to give you that benefit of being able to fight off cancer. All right. All right. So um, when we talk about high doses of vitamin D, the administration of high doses of vitamin D in cancer patients can help reduce metastasis through several key mechanisms, uh, which involves the vitamin D receptor. And all of this uh, modulation that takes place at the level of the vitamin D receptors helps your immune system to do a series of changes that are necessary to be able to change the microenvironment of the tumor. And here, the main mechanisms by which the vitamin D may reduce cancer metastasis are the following. First of all, Vitamin D in high doses helps in the inhibition of the epithelial mesenchymal transition, also known as the EMT. So the EMT is a critical process in metastasis, where cancer cells gain the ability to be able to mitigate and invade other tissues. Vitamin D through VDR activation can inhibit EMT by promoting the expression of proteins that maintain the epithelial phenotype and reducing the expression of mesenchymal markers. This keeps cancer cells localized and reduces their ability to spread to distant organs. Now, another mechanism by which vitamin D also participates in mitigating cancer is that it participates in the regulation of cell adhesion and migration. You see, vitamin D can modulate molecules involved in cell adhesion, such as e cadherin which helps anchor cells in their original location. By increasing e cadherin and reducing cell motility, vitamin D prevents cancer cells from detaching and migrating, which are very important key steps in metastasis. Another mechanism that is very important is the inhibition of angiogenesis. Now, angiogenesis, which means the formation of new blood, blood vessels, is essential for tumors to be able to grow and metastasize by providing oxygen and nutrients, even though we do know that cancer cells use a process known as fermentation. And one of the main nutrients that it, use, it utilizes to be able to grow and metastasize is glucose and glutamine. Vitamin D has been shown to inhibit the formation of new blood vessels in tumors by reducing proangiogenic factors such as VEGF, also known as vascular endothelial growth factor. Reduced angiogenesis deprives the tumor of the necessary blood supply and thus slowing metastasis. Now, one of the major functions that vitamin D has is that it also participates actively in what we call immune system modulation. Vitamin D plays a very, very important role in modulating the immune system, particularly by enhancing the activity of anti-tumor immune cells such as T cells and natural killer cells. Through immune modulation, vitamin D can increase the immune system's ability to recognize and attack metastatic cancer cells it also helps reduce the immunosuppressive tumor microenvironment that allows metastasis to occur. Another important mechanism by which vitamin D also participates in combating cancer is the induction of cancer cell apoptosis, which is also known as programmed cell death. High doses of vitamin D can trigger apoptosis in cancer cells by increasing the expression of genes involved in apoptotic pathways and reducing survival pathways. Apoptosis helps eliminate not only primary tumor cells, but also 
those that could potentially migrate and form metastasis. Now, another important way by which vitamin D also helps combat cancer is through the reduction of inflammation and NF-kappa-B activity. You see, chronic inflammation is a known promoter of cancer metastasis, largely through the activation of inflammatory pathways like the NF-kappa-B pathway. Vitamin D inhibits the activation of NF-kappa-B, which in turn reduces inflammatory cytokines that can promote cancer progression and metastasis. Lower inflammation leads to a less favorable environment for cancer cells to invade other tissues. We also have another mechanism that is very important known as the inhibition of matrix metalloproteinases, also known as MMPs. MMPs are enzymes that degrade the extracellular matrix, allowing cancer cells to invade surrounding tissues and metastasize. Vitamin D can inhibit the expression of these MMPs, and particularly MMP9, which is highly involved in the cancer invasion. By inhibiting MMPs, vitamin D helps maintain the integrity of tissue barriers, reducing the ability of cancers to spread. And here's a very another important mechanism that we'll talk about, is the regulation of autophagy. Vitamin D can influence autophagy, a cellular process that can either promote or inhibit cancer depending on the context of which we're talking about. In metastatic cancer, increased autophagy can lead to the destruction of cancer cells or make them less aggressive. High dose vitamin D can promote autophagy in a way that leads to the degradation of metastatic cancer cells. Another mechanism that is very important that is known to be uh, contributed to the benefits of vitamin D is the normalization of cancer cell metabolism. You see, cancer cells often exhibit altered metabolism favoring glycolysis, even in the presence of oxygen, over oxidative phosphorylation, known as the Warburg effect. Vitamin D helps normalize cancer cells metabolism by promoting mitochondrial function and oxidative phosphorylation, making cells less capable of sustaining rapid growth and invasion. This metabolic shift can reduce the energy available for cancer cells to metastasize. Another mechanism that's important is the downregulation of invasive proteins. Vitamin D can reduce the expression of proteins like urokinase type plasminogen activator, also known as UPA, which are involved in the degradation of basement membranes and facilitate cancer invasion. By reducing these invasive proteins, vitamin D hinders the ability of cancer cells to invade and metastasize to new sites. We can say that high doses of vitamin D act through multiple pathways to reduce cancer metastasis, including the inhibition of EMT, regulation of cell adhesion, suppression of angiogenesis, immune modulation, induction of apoptosis, inhibition of inflammatory and invasive processes, and these combined actions make vitamin D a promising intervention in managing cancer patients, in which I have seen and seen remarkable results. When combined with metabolic therapy, which involves a ketogenic diet, alongside with the use, for instance, of fasting, prolonged fasting, and other measures such as HBOT, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, also intravenous vitamin C at high doses as well, and as well, alpha lipoic acid, and many other measures as well, okay? And in some instances, we even use medications that have been repurposed for treating cancer patients, okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this module, and I'll see you next time.